special cleaners for down there, such as like Summer Eve and things like that. Those messed up my pH level down there and they created a ton of yeast infections throughout the years. So me being like a teenager and in my like early 20s. And with pads, I stunk so bad down there. I know, TMI, but this is the reality of certain products. They do put certain chemicals that don't belong in those items. And I'm not gonna get into that because I don't really know the name of these chemicals, but I have read a few articles talking about, you know, top harmful chemicals that are in your everyday um, pads, tampons, and also your cleaners, like your personal cleaners. So it does suck knowing that information and knowing that companies out there, you know, corporate greed, gotta love it. They really don't care on what happens to any of us. They just want their money. This is something that I'll never buy again is pads in those personal cleaners um, because they didn't work for me. They didn't work for me and they caused more harm than good. What worked for me was switching over to reusable period underwear. I'll have the ones I use linked down below. They are in inexpensive. They are super easy to clean. I have a whole video on how to clean them. They're just amazing. I've had them since 2019 and they're still going strong. Buying pads and personal cleaners down there is a thing of the past. Guaja tools. This is another item that I kind of had to learn about on my own because I used to follow all the other YouTubers out there where they were using these gua sha tools to make their face a little bit more sculpted. I've always had this round face where there's like no definition, always had these chubby cheeks. Even when I do lose weight, my face always stays the same. So, you know, with me being in my 30s, I respect my face being like this and I'm not trying to change it anymore or wanting to change it anymore. So the gua sha tools always broke on me. They never worked. Like, like they will work when you use them, but your face will end up the same like an hour from now if you get what I'm saying yeah they're fun to use but it's not necessary and they are a huge waste of money I think if you want to see change in your face like that it's best to just go to a professional like a professional esthetician or surgery that's basically how you're gonna see change and I don't want to do any of that, so I'm keeping my face the way it is. Especially with no makeup, I feel so much more confident in my 30s than I did in my 20s. So I don't know if it's to do with the age and not giving a crap what people think. So buying certain beauty tools is a thing of the past for me, especially the gua sha tools, because they always broke when they slipped out of my hand, and there was no long-term results. It was just like... One minute results and that's it so huge huge waste of money like i said it is relaxing to use they're up they are fun to use but that's about it they don't really do anything for you colorful socks i will never purchase colorful socks again and it's not because i like a, you know a clean neutral aesthetic like i do like neutral colors but that's not the point the point is that colored socks for me always made my feet stink I do want to say that it's from the dye that's in the socks that they use to color these socks. I used to wear pink, blue, all the colors because they were the cheapest. Colored socks are cheaper than plain socks. When it came to me wearing colored socks from a long day of work or school back in the day, it would just smell straight up like vinegar and like vinegar and fish. Like it smelled horrible. Oh no, throw up. Vinegar and throw up, not fish. It just smelled really, really bad. And um, I remember back then, it was a girl I used to talk to at work. She was like, hey, you know, I know, I don't wanna sound rude, but your feet stink all the time. I'm like, I know, I'm sorry. I was so embarrassed. And she's like, oh no, my feet used to stink too. And that was because the socks that I was using. Um, we kept talking and she was like, you know, you have to use not colored socks. Something in the dye is making your feet stink. That's what happened to her. I listened to what she said. And till this day, I don't wear colored socks and my feet do not stink ever. Like I can wear my socks all day, like for 24 hours and my feet will not stink. I really, really like that I don't have stinky feet anymore. So colored socks are a thing of the past, not just for me, but also for my boyfriend. He got rid of all of his colored socks cause they made his feet, feet stink as well. Yeah, enough of me saying socks. I feel like I've repeated that word so many times. 
an iPad. I will never, ever, ever, ever purchase an iPad for myself ever again. It's just a waste of money for me. I have a laptop that works great. I have a phone that I do my thumbnails on. I do not need to spend another 900 to a thousand dollars on a mini version of my laptop. Like I used to do that back in the day. I had one iPad and I didn't have a laptop at the time. So wait, scratch what I said. The iPad is a larger version of your iPhone. Whatever you can do with your iPhone, you can do with the iPad. And I just, I just don't see a purpose for me to ever have an iPad again. I did sell mine when I moved out of my mom's house back in like 2017. And right then and there, I was like, I'm never getting an iPad again. I never used it. And it was just a waste of freaking money. Yeah, like most people that get iPads either use it to read or to play games. And I just, I just don't have time to read these days. I don't have time to, um, like I don't play games. And if I'm going to play a game, I just play it on my phone. Or if I'm going to read, I'll just read on my phone or my laptop. It's that simple. I do not need to spend extra money on a gadget that is just gonna sit on my desk. Wooden kitchen where I'm talking a wooden cutting board, wooden spatulas, anything wooden like bamboo, I will never ever buy again. I know I keep saying this, but most of you guys already know I worked in a kitchen for eight years. I have learned a lot of lessons with working in that kitchen. And one of the lessons was we had wooden cutting boards for a while. And then we ended up getting a new manager. And he came and he threw all of those cutting boards out and got um, a, like special cutting boards. And we were asking him like, why'd you get rid of all the wood stuff? You know, it was nice looking. And he's like, yeah, that's all it is, it's nice looking. It, has black, it gets black mold over time. If you're not drying it properly or cleaning it properly, um, it does hoard a lot, a lot of bacteria, especially if you're cutting fish or meat. Every little slit you're making into the cutting board when you're cutting your meat or your fish, that stuff goes in, like the juices from the meat go in those slits. And we used to wash them like with some salt and um, we used to cut a lemon and scrub them like that because they can't go in the dishwasher. And most of them can't be washed with dish soap. So that's how we would wash them is with a lemon and salt. And they always end up stinking. They never really like fully went back to what they smelled like before, which was wood. They always smelled like fish or like nasty old food. So I used to have a wooden cutting board. I used to have wooden spatulas everything and my wooden spatulas did end up getting black mold from me not drying them or washing them properly so yeah now i just do silicone silicone that can go in the dishwasher and when it comes to our cutting board we just use a it's i don't even know the material but it's like we've had it for over five years and it's a decent cutting board it's breaking now but it can go in the dishwasher and it's not wood so it doesn't necessarily get that bacteria build up like a wooden cutting board would get so yeah, I will never ever purchase wood anything for the kitchen. Now, I do want to say I do own a wood comb, but that's totally different. You know, hair is different than food items. So that's like the only, no, two. I own two wooden things, like our toothbrushes and my comb. That's it. That's the only thing I will repurchase as for like wood things in our house when it comes to like our personal use. But for kitchen items, I'm sticking with silicone. Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoy this video. Let me know down below what is that one thing that you will never purchase again and that you have learned your lesson from. Oh.